Hey guys, so we're back today to film another recipe video. <laughs> because we're so successful with cooking. <laughs> In the past we have not been the best, but we are definitely getting there and I think we've got some useful tips that yeah, should help you. And this one especially is going to be a very easy, simple uh, campfire dinner or Which lunch. Is what or what we like. Yeah, <laughs> nice and easy, nice and quick, like not many ingredients. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually using our cast iron uh, Dutch oven or pot. Uh, with, it's new, we haven't used it yet. Yep. Fresh, fresh out the box, fresh out of Aldi. We actually got it from Aldi yeah, on those special buyers. It was twenty dollars, which is pretty, pretty cheap. Freaking good. Like they're like yeah. sixty dollars. Um, we're at pretty happy about BCF that. and other places. Yeah. So yep. twenty bucks can't go wrong. Yeah. So we're gonna give that a try, and we're yeah we're gonna be making nachos. So nice and easy. And pretty yeah. keen to see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some coals now and show you. We've got our fire going already. So let's do it. Cool. All right, so these are our very simple ingredients. We've just got uh, Doritos. We can use any sort of tortillas or, yeah, chips. Um, we've got salsa sauce. That one's just the Dorito one. Mozzarella for the top so it melts nice and beautiful. And then onion. And we just got some beans um, to put through it as well. And then once that's all cooked, we're going to add some sour cream and guacamole. Another tip for a cast iron pot or Dutch oven is they do need to be seasoned. Uh, so the first time you use it, it basically you need to cover it in oil, heat it up um, for about an hour, and then just let it cool down naturally. This one did come pre-seasoned, but we've just put a little bit of oil in it as well, just in case. Um, but yeah, make sure you do that. And then after each use, when you're washing it also, just wipe it out with water. Don't use soap or anything. And then just put some oil through it um, so it's ready for the next time and so it doesn't get rust spots. So the key to this is we're basically going to do layers. So we're going to put our chips down and then do a layer of basically everything. Put more chips to another layer, more chips, another layer. And that should make it pretty yummy, I think. And I'm pretty sure our little master chef here is pretty happy with our ideas. <laughs> Say hello, Bella. Too concentrated <laughs> on the chips. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our hot coals, we're just going to sit the little camp oven on top there and then grab some hot coals to put on top as well. And we'll just watch it and see how it goes, but I reckon probably only 10 minutes because nothing really needs to cook, it's more just kind of melting the cheese and yeah, melting it all together sort of thing, so it shouldn't take too long. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes, or so just over. So we're just going to check it now. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. Look at that. All right, so we're just going to move it out of the coal so that we don't get singed faces and we can actually <laughs> have a look properly. Oh, yeah. It's going to break. Wait. Yeah. So we went ahead after getting our little pot here from Aldi. Went to BCF because they send you in the email a ten dollar voucher. <laughs> Thanks BCF. Every now and then they do just send like random ten dollar vouchers, so we go in and just spend the ten dollars. So this was nine ninety nine. So completely we free. Did, we did pretty well. So this was completely free. This is our little. <laughs> oh, sorry, I should have flipped this over so I could show you. This is our little lid grabber. Pot grabber. Like so. Because obviously the whole thing gets really hot, and even this stainless steel. And then we'll, we're using it yeah. for the handle as well, which yeah. is good for that too. So you can get like heat proof gloves as well, but we just thought this would be easier. And we could get it with a free voucher because we're yeah. stingy. <laughs> but no, nah, it works a treat. Alrighty, so there's our finished product. We just added some sour cream and guacamole. So it's super easy. Um, you can obviously add any ingredients that you want. You could add meat, which would be really good. Probably just pre-cook it and then chuck it in just to kind of heat it up again. Uh, but yeah, any kind of, you could add capsicum or I don't know, whatever, whatever people add to Nachos, super easy. Matt's already stealing it all. <laughs> but yeah, also probably 10 to 15 minutes I reckon for the nachos. Don't leave it too long or the chips kind of can get a bit sort of soggy. Um, you want them to keep their crunch and everything. But yeah, very easy campfire dinner or lunch and we'd be definitely doing this one again.